Welcome to Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway, where your pleasure is our pleasure. I'm Heidi Hollander at your service. It's you again, Rangers. Please forgive my brusqueness at the cemetery. It's hard to be pleasant when one is grieving. What can I do for you all? Are you here for business or pleasure? Or both? I wouldn't eat there if I were you. Ma Brown is a nice enough lady. But she isn't very careful about keeping her kitchen clean. Try Schwags instead. A fine and friendly eating establishment. And the social hub of Hollywood. Everyone who's anybody goes there to see and be seen. Some of the brightest stars of stage and boudoir have been discovered there. And young hopefuls flock there every day. It is well worth a visit. This is very serious, and I thank you for bringing it to my attention. I will have the HSP look into this immediately. But please, do nothing on your own. This must be handled internally with a minimum of fuss. Hollywood's reputation cannot be compromised. I am the owner and madam of the hideaway, Heidi Hollander. It's my pleasure to provide pleasure to all who come through these doors. Marvelous. Well then, let's get business out of the way first. We'll save pleasure for dessert. Whatever your need is, Heidi's Hideaway can provide. May I recommend enjoying one of our icons, each hearkening back to the golden age of star making. On the female side, we have our blonde bombshell Marilyn, our brunette playmate Raquel, our sweet soul sister Pam, and our beach bunny Bo. On the male side, we have our brooding rebel Dean, our perfect gentleman Carrie, our smooth operator Billy D, and our suntan surfer Hasselhoff. And if none of those strike your fancy, or if you prefer the darker side of things, Mistress Veronica awaits you in the dungeon below with the more dangerous selection of companions. Now, which shall it be? Hmm, my dearest darling, who came to me lost and alone, and who under my tutelage blossomed to become the most beloved of my icons. Then later the dark and delicious mistress she is today. She is my second in command, an inspired performer who can be gracious or cruel, kind or cold, whichever her visitors desire. You'll find what you're looking for in the back room. Enjoy. You'll find what you're looking for. I'm afraid Carrie is currently indisposed. Perhaps you could try back tomorrow. You'll find what you're looking. Mm. I'm afraid Bo is cur You'll find what you're looking. You'll find what you're looking. You'll find what you're looking for. You want to help me? Isn't that sweet? Sadly, though, the hideaway has all the talent we need at the moment, and the HSP seems to have everything in Hollywood well in hand. <laughs> Unless you were thinking of storming the Bastion of Faith and sending those god militia madmen packing, I'm afraid I have nothing for you. They are the bane of my existence. For years, they were too busy fighting the gangs of Los Feliz and Glendale to bother us. But now that those territories are pacified, they've declared us their new crusade. They raid us constantly breaking through our walls, plundering our supply caravans, killing without mercy. I have lost friends, employees, and it is killing our businesses too. The tourists who are our lifeblood are afraid to visit. We are withering away. Everything I have worked to create here is threatened. 
Well, I won't let it happen. The militia want to erase us from the face of the Earth. I'll erase them first. I don't know how yet. But I won't rest until the Bastion of Faith is a smoking wreck. A tiny little place that only exists so that the aspirants who come to the Bastion for the Gauntlet of Samson can have a place to sleep before starting up the hill. A wild, barbaric place across the river to the east. I don't know much about it, and never had the inclination to learn more. A trial by combat, named after their goon of a messiah, Red Samson. Aspirants who want to join the militia must fight their way up through killing fields of mutants and monstrous beasts to the observatory. Excuse me. The Bastion of Faith. Some street crazy with a sledgehammer who saw a videotape and thought he found God. Died in a gang fight about 50 years ago. The only thing more pathetic than the story of his life is the fools who believe he was the second coming. The militia turned the old observatory into a fortress and let beasts and mutants run wild in the park below it, as protection against attack, and as a challenge for the fanatic fools who want to join their ranks. The Gauntlet of Samson, they call it. The finest police force in the West, oh, with the possible exception of the Rangers, of course. You will not meet a more dedicated group of men and women. I swear they are never out of uniform. All right, all right. There are one or two things on my plate that require a steadier hand than the HSP can provide. One will test your diplomacy. The other will test your martial abilities. If you take care of the first for me, then we'll see about letting you take a crack at those pistol-packing prees. Are you interested? Marvelous. Then here is the first one. My most trusted lieutenant, Mistress Veronica, Lady of Pain and Ecstasy, has been acting oddly lately. I have seen similar behavior before, and... While I could not believe it of her at first, I worry she may be in love. And a prostitute, a dominatrix no less, in love is of less value than one unattached. So, my quest for you, find out if I'm right. Speak to her. Offer to help and see if she admits her... condition. Come back when you're looking for some entertainment, Rangers.